This is my final project for interaction design called Captain Red Eye Hayes Puzzle Box. Uh, first to turn on the puzzle box, there is a switch in the back. Let me turn on with this pencil here. You can see that the puzzle box has initialized and the hook has moved so that you cannot undo the latch and this light has turned on. So I'm just going to speed run the puzzle box basically and I'll explain all the steps in a Word document later just because that will probably be the easiest. So This here is a temperature sensor and it's sensing additional heat. So uh, after uh, changing by the sensitivity level, the next puzzle initiates. So we can remove this to reveal a laser pointer and remove this telescope to reveal a hole and unscrew this leg to open this box. You can see there's a hole in there. So we'll take out the contents of the box. through the hole. And to turn on the laser pointer and reflect that light into the red LED eye. There we go. So I initialize and then we wait a little bit. Normally a person would be reading the journal entry hints right now. We cover that eye up with the eye patch that we got. We can see that the other eye is turned on indicating that that puzzle is solved. And we'll move on to the next puzzle. This one is a maze. So if we go through the maze correctly, we will see that there's these colored dots with these buttons that have the matching colored dots with them. So if we press the correct sequence of dots, this puzzle solves. So we go one, two, three, one, two. That puzzle is solved, and this one initiates. So, uh, in the journal entries, it tells the player that there's three significant places um, of interest, which are very important, but uh, we, two of them won't be there. That's because this is actually a false half of the map, and that's the real half. So, we take... Um, there's a digital secret leg there that's hollow that holds uh, these three magnets and a piece of paper in there. So if we solve the journal puzzle, we'll see that these magnets go here and form this triangle. And if we look at what this paper says here, Says green is soft and blue is hard. The only place we've seen green and blue is on here. So if we were to think of it as knocks, there would be three uh, soft knocks and then two hard knocks. And uh, the piezo we would know also from the journal locations would be in the center of the triangle, so about this location. Sometimes it's better to look something else. go and you can see that the hook has released so we can now undo the latch open the puzzle box and get the gold <laughs>